everyone. Welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. I'm Denise and I'm going to be looking at Trump's week of October 16th through the 22nd, 2022. See how it's going to be going for him. Uh, maybe see what he's planning. Uh, anyway, I don't, I shouldn't laugh. I should not laugh. We are in very serious times. Um, but anyway, let me bring the camera down overhead and uh, get this reading going. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I am starting out with Pam's Recolored Tarot. Uh, if you like it, it's... Oh, I don't know the name of the company. I don't know, My Lucky Card. Anyway, just Google it online. It comes from Bulgaria, uh, but it's turning out to be one of my favorite decks. So anyway, I have sat and meditated. I have uh, put my intention into the cards and allowed for reversals. So I just have to draw the cards and I have my intention set for the, the spread that I'm gonna use. So I'll talk you through it. It'll save us time that way. All right, Donald John Trump's. Only the truth for his <clears throat> week of October 16th through the 22nd, 2022. And of course, this is the 14th. I'm doing this on um, Friday the 14th, the day after <laughs> the last, well, it might be the last, maybe not, but it's sure looked like they put a period at the end of that sentence with that January 6th hearing. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Okay. So, the forces in motion, his greatest challenges. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I want two cards here for his, uh, his feelings. How's he feeling about what went down yesterday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are his plans for the week? What is he planning this week? Mm -hmm. What will he actually be doing, though? Plans and actions are two different things, right? All right. Okay. And then, let's see, I'm sure I'll be able to fit four cards here this way. Maybe more, but, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just do four cards for his future. Okay, so one, two, three. All right, and of course I'll take a peek at what's at the bottom of the deck, too. I can get my hands on the cards here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so here, here's how he's feeling. Here are his, his plans. Here are his actions. These two cards right here are really important for the entire spread. The forces in motion, so it's karma, you know, the law of cause and effect in his life, and then his greatest challenges. Yeah, it's what we've been getting consistently though, right? Money problems. Okay, and then his future, well, he has victory with something. Hmm, that's a female attorney. And then things move forward really quickly, but Page of Swords. Mm. So don't worry, I'm going to do um, a kipper, a uh, little kipper spread. Not, I'm not going to do 21 cards like last week. That just took way too long. Actually, let me keep these separate. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then I, I do want to check into um, the Secret Service, like, can he get, because it's from watching yesterday, 
It certainly looked to me like uh, the Secret Service FBI could have done a whole lot more to protect people on uh, January 6th, 2021, and they did not. They knew so many things way ahead of time and didn't didn't do anything about it, at least that we know. Maybe they thought they could contain the whole thing. I don't know. I'm not reading on them today. I'm going to read on if he can get some Secret Service agents to collude with him and malign, you know, against the Homeland Security and <laughs> risk losing their jobs, pensions, and whatever to help him leave the country. Because that's the only way he could really leave, right? I mean, he has to, because he has Secret Service detail on him 24-7. So, anyway, forces in motion with the Three of Wands reversed brings in the uh, energy of a big fat setback. This is also uh, my, you know, my card for being a dirty politician, dirty, somebody in, in the leadership. You know, it's, especially with the Wands, I tend to be a little... A little more forceful with, maybe that's because the energy of the suit, but a little more forceful with the meanings when they're reversed because it has to do with, uh, you know, it's like Mars and energy moving and which way you're going and what, you know, what you're doing literally with your life force. Well, when it, you can see in the image with this card straight up, it brings in that quality of somebody who's very well established. Their ships are out in the ocean and they're waiting for them to come back. They don't know if they, if they will, but it's a card of progress and leadership because you have ships out in the ocean. You're, you know, at least leading your own life. Well, when it comes to reversed, this is abusive leadership to me. And that is what's going on in his life. I do believe he's the reincarnation of Mussolini. I really feel that deeply in my bones. And, um, you know, maybe that's what these two cards are about here because the King of Pentacles, um, I mean, look at the orange, right? <laughs> but the King of the King of Pentacles, this is our card for wealth and success and, um, you know, basically having all the money you want plus more and being a person who can, uh, you know, achieve whatever you want in life. I mean, just look at all of the, this is why I love the Rider weight better than any other deck. Um, look at all of the grapes, right? Like if that doesn't make a person feel abundant, what, what would not? You know, grapes, pomegranates, food, all of that, which is why... The pentacles are often depicted that way, and as well as the the um, the empress. And so anyway, but when this card comes through in a challenge position, I read it like a reversal. So let's just do this. Now this brings in a person who has abused their resources. This brings in a corrupt leader abusive and corrupted leader and that's what's going on in his life he he has been named by the j6 committee as somebody who not only knew what was happening that day but planned it planned it months be you know months before they have the proof they submitted documents and evidence and video and testimony going way 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 back and, you know, of course he pardoned, you know, uh, what's his name, Steve Bannon, but that, that didn't work for some other things, did it? <laughs> of course he pardoned uh, Roger Stone. And there probably were a bunch of other people I'm forgetting right now, but uh, I don't know how that's going to play out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And if you guys didn't see... Uh, Stephen Colbert's opening monologue from last night. Uh, it you can always go to uh, YouTube, get you know, on the YouTube channel, of course, because you're here, right? Just search for um, the Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and or just put in Stephen Colbert, it'll pop right up, and and subscribe to that channel, and and you'll get the little opening monologues that come uh, all the time. But I, I usually watch it in the morning when I'm having coffee. 
<laughs> that's how I get them. Or sometimes I'll watch it that night if I'm up that late, but that's rare. Uh, but anyway, uh, don't miss it. The one from this morning or from last night is just hilarious. Unbelievably hilarious. In fact, the last two days he has outdone himself with his monologues. So, so that's the forces in motion in his life is that he is now seen. And, you know, and we can't, even though these four cards here are the future, we can't ignore the fact that the uh, Six of Wands up here is all about being seen and recognized for something. <laughs> well, he's recognized as the corrupt leader, right? And, yeah, I'll just go ahead and read that later. So, anyway, here's his uh, feelings. He's feeling overwhelmed with the Ten of Wands. We're in the, you know, the energy of just, oh my God, can I get out from underneath this? What can I do? Um, but then again, so he's overwhelmed, overloaded. He's worried. He's stressed out. Um, and I think, honestly, with, with the Hierophant, I think he's worried about the law. I think he's worried about... Um, being able to get out from under this huge, you know, commitment that he's put. He, he's committed to something way back when. They've proved it. And it's to hold himself in a position of power, you know, like back in the day, when, you know, Mango Mussolini, you could bet he was, you know, in bed with whatever little pope or whatever was going on then. Uh but this is my government card in the tarot when I'm doing political readings. So he's feeling overwhelmed by the government and the systems of the government. His uh, plans are to fight, of course, always. He's never going to stop fighting. And <laughs> but with the Knight of Swords, his plans aren't going to get him anywhere. With, or the Knight of Swords reversed, right? So... There's self-doubt going on. He's violent. He's planning to break the rules again, right? But he doesn't really have any direction because it's all just going down. So all of this negative energy is working against him in his own body. It will make him ill. Hatred makes people ill. Revenge makes people ill. So eventually that'll catch up with him. Imagine if he was, you know, somebody working in the light. I mean, he'd probably be one of those kind of people that could live to be like 125, you know, with a strong constitution. But that wasn't him. That's, that's not who he is. He came in to uh, help us get a handle on new laws we need made, enforcing laws of the constitution, just basically to wake us up to... Um, to bring out the swamp, he has brought out all the swamp creatures, all the old slave traders from past lifetimes. We see you, Mitch McConnell. We see you, uh, Stephen Miller. We see you, Jeffrey Beauregard Sessions. We see you, Bill Barr. We know who all these players are. They've proved themselves. We suspected, now we know. So anyway, back to his, so his, his plans are to fight. Uh, his plans are for violence. That's, isn't that just great to know that he, he's planning to fight and be more violent? What he's actually going to do with uh, judgment coming through reversed. So plans, actions. He's going to actually regret he's gonna miss oh yeah he, he's gonna regret what he's done in the past and he's actually gonna misjudge the situation wow and then with the nine of wands reversed uh, I feel like he's not gonna be able to defend himself anymore with this card don't you? I mean, when you when you look at this, this is can be the wounded warrior card, but you're almost there and you're done, and it's all about um, oh, you're almost done. You're holding on, right? If you're done, you're here. But 
but you're holding on and you're you're defensive you're but you're you're strong you're well you're tired you're worn out but you're probably uh, in a place of having a lot of um uh you know resilience and endurance are some of my keywords with this card but when you bring it through reversed i uh, that that turns into, you know, something doesn't work right. Like you don't have, you don't really have a fight left. You're just exhausted and it's a disaster. It's a disaster card. He, he's, so his, his actions, his plans are to be, to fight and be violent, struggle with the violence, his own inner violence. Oh yeah, that's right. Because he has Mars uh, you know, I have I have some charts here. I wasn't I wasn't gonna go into too much of it because um, I want to do it in a separate video. But and I I won't. I'm just gonna show you this one little part. Mars is up there on his see at 23 degrees. His North Node's at 20, 22. It's conjunct. Uh, we, you can leave Cancer out there, the Mercury and Cancer, but those three planets are points. His sun, <laughs> the core essence of who he is, North Node is path, path, path in life, and Uranus, um, the planet of trying to get somebody to wake up, right? But he's just always been the instigator. Mars, the planet of the planet of war, action. Uh, motivation is going to be sitting right here going back and forth back and forth in his 11th house of hopes and wishes and dreams and i um, you know humanity what's what else is the 11th house connections online situations um groups so i think Mars coming being in his 11th house it's going to be there for until actually even way past March I'm going to guess like maybe June of next year in the 11th house that's not good and then and also to have Uranus transiting up there in his midheaven <laughs> the, the planet of waking up is in his in his um uh, 10th house of career and participation with society. And when the January 6th committee took their vote at 3.32, it was actually 3.32, Mark, if you're watching this video, it wasn't 3.33. I, I, I had it recorded and I was watching. It was 3.32. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter for a minute because all of these outer planets are going into his natal chart. So that, that doesn't matter uh, what actually what time. But... Anyway, uh, to have Uranus coming through on your midheaven and, in, and then already in your 10th house and to have the nodes like this on your 10th and 4th, uh, this isn't good for him at all. Uranus in the ninth, or when it was in the ninth, was in, you know, shakeups with courts of law, and that, of course, happened. It's seven years in each house. So for the next seven years, he's going to have shakeup and disruption and fight and conflict and, you know, basically all of this kind of energy in his 10th house of career. That's not good. And yesterday, when that information came through from the January 6th committee, the moon that rules the public, look at all that information that came through. So Mars is Mars on his sun North Node and Uranus, he is going to be livid. He is going to be, uh, you know, needing a whole lot more ketchup to throw around. <laughs> He's going to be livid. So I feel like this is all, this is him self-destructing on the inner levels. Uh, so yeah, I mean, just literally self-destructing. Uh, so anyhow, with his. Uh, future you know just through this week or just through to the about the 22nd somewhere in there i uh, 22nd 23rd whatever it is i don't even have my phone here i'm pretty sure it's yeah 16th to 22nd i think uh he will be seen he has been seen already i've talked about that but with um the queen of pentacles reversed 
I'm thinking that um, some, this, I feel like it's an attorney. I feel like it's a female attorney. Or it could just be the energy and consciousness of losing uh, loyalty, losing, um, you know, support, nurturing. It is, you know, of the earth, so it would be all the earth signs. And this would probably relate to, this card could stand in for all the women in his life, but most especially Melania because she's a Taurus. You know, because we're dealing with the the earthly signs, so Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But I, I feel like this is part of, you know, his future brings in tons of news and information, which goes along with that, you know, that Mars in Gemini that we're all getting, right? With tons, and it's square, Mer or square Neptune. So it's like taking Mercury and Neptune together, and it's like, okay, you got to figure out the truth, right? Because um, uh, Mercury rules Gemini. So it's like the fire of information going, and you want to find out, is this true? You have to double check, and lots of mistakes happening, and that's been happening already in a lot of our lives. <laughs> I think we can all attest to that. So, anywho... With this gal coming through, I do feel like it, it. I do feel it is like all the women in his life. I feel like he's going to be really disappointed, and um, he's feeling. I, I think on one level he's he's feeling left out, and I think he's going to be neglecting himself even more. I mean, he's got to be probably the worst person in the world for self care. I don't think he does any of it. And we know his diet is just awful. I think it's going to get even worse. And whatever support systems he he has had in the past are not there for him anymore. Plus, uh, this week is even worse because I, I do feel that this is one of his attorneys that is either going to uh, bail on him or she's going to go down herself. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're going to, it's like Judge Eileen Cannon, you know, they're all going to have their little 15 minutes of fame. So, anyway, with the Page of Swords reversed, well, this would be really bad news. This would be uh, legal issues, because the swords represent all types of legal issues. Uh, people manipulating because they want to get away from him as fast as possible more and more you know we had that last week didn't we a lot of relationship uh issues didn't we have the pretty sure we had the um two of cups reversed for the last two weeks so wow um people playing mind games people you know talking and talking but there's no action <laughs> Yeah, sure, I'll do that for you, but then they don't do it. Yeah, I'll file those papers for you, Donald, and then they don't. Yes, sir, I'll do it, but then they don't. Meanwhile, we're all seeing everything that's going on. So that's what he's going to be experiencing. And then what was at the bottom, we have the um, Page of Pentacles. Some more news coming out about his money issues. And the three... <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Three of Cups reverse. So, no friends. We're going to be watching him cheat some more, uh, overeat. Maybe we'll, maybe there'll be some throwing ketchup um, scenarios again. My goodness. Okay, so next I'm going to use a kipper. And that is, oh, here's the box. This deck right here, Tiro Marchetti's. End of the century, Kipper. And I want to ask, I'll just do 10 cards. I'm not going to do 21 like I did last week. That was ridiculous. But maybe there's a bunch of information in there that will come out later. Anywho, legally, what's coming down? What's coming down on Donald John Trump?
Okay. Hmm. So, of course, I'll look at what cards are on the bottom, but I might even draw a couple more cards. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Actually, I think we've got enough here. But I, I will talk about those that are on the bottom. Sometimes I wonder if I should just, like, shuffle, throw the cards in my hand, then flip the deck over and read from the bottom. <laughs> I should try that someday. It would save me time, wouldn't it? It would save us all a lot of time. But the cards light up for me, so, you know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Our theme here is that he is just going to be mulling over, worrying, uh, depressed. He's going to be... His ex experience this week is on the soul journey and the experience of not being able to concentrate on anything other than, you know, it's like that Ten of Wands hanging over him. It, it's just really, it, he's feeling very insecure and very pessimistic and very uh, depressed and helpless. And then this, this card has to do with money you don't work for. Oh, he's he's worried about about uh, his ability to grift. He's having trouble grifting. <laughs> he's having trouble getting the cash, little literal cash, into his accounts, and his because these cards, you know, touch. He's he's experiencing a loss of reputation here. And he, because I read directionally, he's looking at his reputation that way. This dude has so much pride, like so much false, unhealthy pride. It's not even funny. So, but the rest of this week, uh, or just for this week legally, I would say with the rules and regulations card and you know this could be it because it's the last card it could be the answer card i uh, this feels to me like there there could be something that comes through legally about that super pack that he had remember way back he um they were saying that he could uh, he could go down for like wire fraud because it was set up so that it got sent right right into his account. It was the super pack whatever was not set up legally or properly, and it went right to his account. It, it could be Merrick Garland coming through with something like that, or some somehow that that happens. He has this strategy, or actually, you know what? Legally, I feel like this is him, but but legally there's a strategy. There's some new strategy now. It might be small, uh, started out small, but now there's an actual planned out strategy. And it definitely, we have to look at the cards at night together here. This is uh, the fortune that he, that he was... Um, the fortune that he received, what he has made by grifting, not having to work for it, but by grifting with like email blasts and everything else, and going on different, you know, what I guess he's on like what Truth Social or something. I don't know. I've, I don't, I've never been there. Uh, and there's that other Newsmax and what's that one? Um, one American network or something, OAN. So he is out there. I mean, of course, he's banned from YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. <laughs> he can't even, like, can you imagine? I mean, that's enough right there. Like, the, if that didn't do it. But no, these people are so lame. They're still going to follow him wherever he goes. He can start his own new 
whatever, and we'll go right there because we love our cult leader, you know? So people can't help themselves, and he's been stealing from them. And uh, he, this, this is my card for energy vampires, people who just suck the life out of others. And this is him stealing, grifting off of his people, and that's his reputation. And that, like Jeff says, hi, Jeff, that train's left the station, and that's all he can think about because I think it's being kind of cut off. I think it's, I think it's shrinking and smaller, and it's being cut off. And with the rules and regulations coming at the end, there's something there. There's something there that's, um, you know, legally coming down uh, because there, there are rules and regulations against that. So what was at the bottom of the deck? The family room. Now, when it comes to timing, this is my card for like 24 hours to, to three weeks, 21 days, right? But it's also our card for uh, information, or I'm sorry, what am I thinking? Experiences that come through like right inside the four walls of your home. And it's also your family. I, you know, he's got to know that all his kids have flipped on him by now, right? But we also have the courthouse card. Wow. So this is our card for somebody pressing charges. This is our card for the judicial process that leads to uh, a grand jury trial. Or at the very least, some type of, um, some discovery, you know, because the guy has the papers and he's going to, you know, show you, hey, I have the documents, right? Wow. Now, with the expectation card, uh, that's, Usually, when it comes to timing, you know, my three-month card. But maybe it's not a timing card this time for this reading. Maybe this is just about he's in that place where he can't do a damn thing but sit and wait. He, he can't, you know, he, he just can't, right? Something's taking a little, little bit of time and there's nothing he can do about it. And maybe this is for us to, you know, remember that Merrick Garland is definitely going to get him. And we just have to be patient for when he, because he's not going to do it until he has everything to make sure he does not get off, does not get away. And then we have, oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let, let's just try this little experiment. It might not work, but the, these first four, five cards, how do you like that? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently it does work. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my guides, for giving me some new way to do this. Giving me a new way. Okay. So he's stuck within his four walls of his brain. He, and and his even with his family that they're all hanging down over him. He can't even. Uh, he just can't. He can't. He can't get out from under the the uh, the reality that he's in. And this is the worst card in the deck. This is just you know you're tortured with worry and stress, and you just can't think of anything else. And of course, remember we had this card underneath, and uh, it's affecting his health. And again, there's nothing he can do about that. This is what I've always gotten. I, I, I've always gotten that his health gets him before he gets locked up. Nobody wants to hear that. We, we all want to see justice. But uh, it could be that he winds up, you know, just very, very ill in some type of an institution. I don't know. I, we just have to wait and see. But I do, what is consistent, what I can say here. Because, you know, experience has taught me as a reader all these years is that when cards and what, any type of guidance, whatever divination you use, when the guidance is consistent, and that's how you know that you're actually hooked up to some source. Otherwise, it'll just be crazy stuff all over the place. And you're not, that, that's when you, you know you're not really hooked up with your own guides, but just some other little spirit tricksters. You don't want to do that. 
You want to be hooked up to the truth, you know, to the laws of love, which are also truth. And then you ask your questions from there, and they always are consistent. We always get this card. You can go back and look at all my Trump readings with once I started using Kipper. Always these cards. Um, now we have the, now I'm not going to say this is like death, but there's an ending. And the ending has to do with his assets and his clan. This is our card for clans in this deck. Um, family security and stability, you know, property, real estate, land, his home. So there's an ending, and, and look how it affects the family room, his whole family. It, yeah, this, this is not good for the entire family, and all this is hanging down over him. It could take some time, though, because if I keep going further, I've got the Pathway card, which can be a couple of years. I have the Mature Woman, which could be um, Letitia, the standing card for Letitia James and Fonnie Willis and Nancy Pelosi. And, and then we have, you know, IRS, tax, all of that fraud, J6 committee here. But, of course, down here, we have all the work that's being done by his attorneys and also this is my stand-in card for um, Don Jr. and Eric and, and even Jared but this is going to affect I'm thinking it's more just Don Jr. and um, Eric but yeah J6 the <laughs> it's not good none of this is good for him none of this is good for him at all um, we're seeing the end days I can't say it's the beginning of the end, but you know what I mean. It's we're we're definitely getting down there, down to the wire. Okay, so no more Kipper. I want to use the Linema and see because I know everybody's thinking it. I want to see if actually. Mm, let me use this deck. Okay, so this deck is the Maybe Lenamon by Ryan Edward. And there's some extra cards in here. There's 52 cards. Instead of 36, we have some um, gypsy cards mixed in. And I want to ask if he's going to be able to get, or is he even going to try? And if I just get crazy cards that don't really answer the question, I'll know that it's a big fat no. But can he get some secret service agents to, um, you know, to get him to, to collude with him basically and, and uh, help get him out of the country. Or is he even thinking about that? No, oh, this one just wants to pop right out. <sighs> that looks like a no, but well, let me just see what I can do with nine cards. This is what I usually do with with clients because you get so much more out of it. Um, you can read the you know directionally so many different ways. So is he going to try that? Is he would is he going to try it? Would he be successful? And, and it's like, you know, what's he going to run to Putin? Is he going to run to Russia? Uh, I mean, so anyway, he does have some, he has a, I think the Secret Service detail he has, I think they might have had a little crush on him. Uh, but with the mice is like, it's a, it's a minimization and to be able to get away, right in the center, you know, th this card in the center is really important. Uh, so I'll just read this card and, say, and, and just go outwards. Okay, so there's an obstacle to his ability to steal. 
So we have established that prior to, but now this is about the Secret Service agents. Uh, there's an obstacle to what they would be willing to lose for him within the branches of the government. So we're talking there. Um, they would not make the decision. The obstacle would create such a loss with their pensions and benefits. And I think they're more loyal probably than that, at least to their own money. And so the, they don't, I don't think they would make a decision like that because of the money. We have money here and money here. They don't want to cut off that flow of money. And it looks to me like I'm... Um, they would probably, I just heard they would be feeling like they would be assassinating themselves for some short-term benefit. Oh, you know what, you guys? They don't trust him enough. They don't even trust that he would give them the money that he might try to, what he, he would use to promise them. He, he, would, he would try to bribe. But this is a, you know, when it comes to assassination card in the deck, this is it. Interesting. This is also my Putin card, but, you know, there, there's nothing for him in Russia. Is there? Is there? I mean, people in Russia need to get out of there. Let's see what was at the bottom. Uh, lilies, they're more mature. They don't want to break things apart. And the money would go for some stupid partying. What I don't know. Yeah, no. The choice. And they are... I think they're more loyal to the government. But, and they are watching him, though. They're, they're watching him, and they're talking, they're talking about him to each other. Uh, and, but they're, I think they're going to be way more self-responsible than that. And they are connected with each other. So I don't, I don't even see that he really has... Um, Support. Let me ask with this other deck here real quick. Does he even, does he have support with his Secret Service agents to get out of town to do anything? How, or how, nah, it looked to me like they were blocking him with that mountain card in the middle. It's too much of an obstacle that he couldn't get past. He can have all the passport he wants. Now that's our government. The institution, there's innocence. There's innocence within those, uh, or enough innocence with his Secret Service. Uh, yeah, and they, they do not, they would not want to get into that complication, I don't think. Now, that work complication, repetitive complication, no, abusive complication. Hell no, they're not going through that. They're, they're not going through that keyhole. This card is like the coffin card. Um, in this deck, you can see it's, it's we're beyond the 36 cards. It's um, Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you which deck it is. It's this one. It's the Golden Dreams. Linamon. And this card has the uh, added meaning of endings. But change, you know... But it's also on another level, like where you, you're, you're in self-doubt and you're not willing to go through that narrow little opening, right? It's also my card for um, inaction because you don't have the ability to make a decision, <laughs> right? So, yeah. It's a transition card at best, but um, you'd have to let go of something that was very... Um, very very important to you in order to get through that keyhole and they're not they're not going to do that so okay so that's and this is his secret service detail i don't know that he can get new secret service detail that could change this maybe in some point in the future but for now i'm going to hold fast with all the other readings that i've gotten in the past that say no even though he wants to get out of town or out of dodge he cannot and uh, I don't see that they would collude and ruin their, their pension, their benefits, their children's, you know, benefits, things like that. Or the benefit that their children receive by them being a government employee. 
So, okay, well, that's it, you guys. <laughs> I don't think this reading was any shorter than last week. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. Big hugs. Lots of love. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Okay. Bye. <laughs>